Recording in progress. احنا بنرحب بيكم مره ثانيه في الجزء اللي هو هنكمله احنا ابتدينا امبارح الجزء الاولاني في الليترز ووصلنا لغايه الفاول والبشبونس مجدي هيكمل معانا المره دي وهنبتدي بالجزء اللي هو في الليترز الملونه بحيث ان هو البشبونس مجدي عاوز يراجع معاكم ثاني ويوضح نقطه ثانيه اتفضل يا باشمهندس ماجد شكرا بس في صدى صوت عندك ما اعرفش ليه لا هو كده خلاص وقفت وقفت well to start with today um, I would like to apologize for a mistake which I have yesterday done and that was in the pronunciation of a certain letter um, uh, please accept my apology but uh, for the lack of focus Uh, this is uh, mainly owing to age problems, at any rate. So uh, you have the sheet in front of you. That was uh, the sheet for the quick recap for letters. And I'm going to refer to the letter where, where, I, have had, where I have had done the mistake. It's in the first, second, third, fourth line, fourth line, and one, two, three, four, fifth letter, which is the ETA, the one in green. And um, I apologize for having uh, pronounced it yesterday as H in English. No, it is ETA. So please accept my apology once more. Okay, we're going to move to, to uh, today's session. Uh, we shall speak about the consonants and for the, about the uh, introduction and conclusion of the exposition which is being said in the uh, Pascha week. We shall start by the uh, copy, uh, by the uh, consonants, okay? So, in general, pronunciation for consonants, uh, what we shall have hereafter is that which depends on the position in words except for the delta. In the delta, it does not depend, the, 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 the pronunciation does not depend upon the position of the uh, letter in the word. We shall start by the first letter, and that is the vita, the vita. And here I have given the uh, approximate pronunciation. So, It, uh, the, the vita will be pronounced as a v, as, as a v, if followed by a vowel. I have chosen here the word va ki, va ki. This is a vita, alpha, kappa, k, yota, i, and this is the English pronunciation va ki, meaning city, city. Okay, the second pronunciation, the second pronunciation is when the vita comes at the end of, the of a word or is followed by a consonant. I have been given two examples. The first example is when it comes at the end of the word and I have chosen the word we. Ooh, we, and we remember what we said in the previous session about the pronunciation of the O epsilon followed by one of the three vowels, alpha, yota, and eta. So we say it as we, meaning priest, meaning priest. If followed by the, a consonant, it will be pronounced as a B, as a B, pronounced as a B. So we I have chosen here the word tet, tav, t, a, e, eta, b, and tav, t, tet, meaning fish. There is one exception we have here, 
other people have other exceptions, but uh, this doesn't work for me because this is according to my uh, professor in uh, Coptic. Uh, so the word here that we have an, a, a vita followed by a vita, that means followed by a consonant, but here we pronounce it as ava. Ava, meaning a title. This is a title. A title. We say ava uh, tawadros. Ava tawadros. So this is his title. This meaning a title. Okay. Now the second, the second letter in the consonants is the gamma. Is the gamma, and we have here three pro, uh, uh, pronunciations. The, the first one, it will be pronounced as a G, G, as a G, G, G. So as in go, G as in go, one followed by one of the four letters we have here after. That is the A, the Eta, the Yota, and the Epsilon. And I have chosen here the word Genos, genos. It's a ge, rama, a, e, ne, n, o, micron, and sima, s, genos. And this is the English word for genos. We have here something which could seem a bit difficult in reading, but you will get accustomed to it. If the the gamma the first the gamma will be pronounced as an n if followed by one of these four letters another gamma a kappa an xi and a k a very common a very common um, word where there are two gammas, one after the other. The first one will be pronounced as an N. So we will read it together now. It's an together. It's an alpha, gamma, gamma, A, lavla, L, omicron, sima, S. We don't read it as agelos. No, we read it as angelos, angelos, meaning an angel. We also have it in the word evangelion, evangelion, meaning the gospel. Okay. The third pronunciation is pronounced as G, G H as a G. This is otherwise, otherwise than the other or the, the top, the two top pronunciations. Like the word here, we say, Rar, rar, it's a gamma, alpha, a, r, ro, r, rar, meaning for, because, and as well, in fact, rar. This is a Greek let. Uh, this is a Greek word, and we usually find it coming as the second word in a sentence. We shall come to its meaning or the, the use of it later on. Okay, now the th uh, we come to the delta. Delta, it has two pronunciations, independent of their their location or position in the world. It will be pronounced as th, as in this, this, or okay. Well, I have uh, I have chosen here a word called. Zip non, zip non. So the delta here will be a th, the, yota, e, p, p, ne, n, omicron, uh, omicron, o, ne, n. Zip non, being supper, meaning supper, meaning supper. The, the alternate, uh, 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 pronunciation for the delta is a D, D as in dad, D as in dad. And this will go for all names, any name where there is a, a, a delta, it should be 
D, dad. Here we have, I have chosen the word David, David, then it's a delta, A, alpha, epsilon is here a, ve a vector, like vector, yota is an E, like in it, and the last one is a delta, it will be a D. So in English, it is David, in Coptic, it is David, David, in English, it is David. Okay. Then we have the theta, the theta. The theta has two pronunciations. The first one will be TH as in think, as in think, TH as in think. And I've chosen the word here, is thorn, thorn. This is a theta, th. Omega, omega will be pronounced as o a o, and then n a n thorn. This is the pronunciation in English, meaning where, where. The second pronunciation. will be theta as a T, as a T in table. When it comes after a sima, an S, or after a shy, sh, we have a word here, which we hear um, uh, often, and this is, we shall read it together. The S, Sima with a Jenkin, this will be read independently, an independent syllable. Then the theta will be pronounced as a t, omicron, o, yota, y, will be here, y, nay, n, o, epsilon, u, then phi, f, yota, e. We shall read it together, and we have the English pronunciation. S, toy, toy, because we have the iota after uh, an omicron. Then, nu, fi, and this is the pronunciation in English. S, toy, nu, fi, meaning incense, incense. Okay. We come to the epsilon. I have put the epsilon here with the uh, 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 with the consonants, although it could be pronounced differently. But we have two pronunciations: v, one being a v vector, and the second one is i. We will pronounce it as V in vector if preceded by alpha or A. One of any of these two letters. I have chosen here the word A, ha, A, epsilon, and alpha. A. Ah, so this would be A, va. This is the pronunciation in English and the meaning Eve. Otherwise, otherwise, it would be pronounced as I in did. Okay. So I have chosen a word here. It's a hori, an epsilon, may, m, nay, n, omicron, o, sima, s. This would read. Him nos, him nos. So this is the pronunciation in English, and this is the meaning, him. Okay. Now we come to the K. We come to the K, which looks like an X. We have here 
three pronunciations. Three pronunciations. The first one is when we get it in Coptic words, it will be pronounced as a K, as a K. K as in cook, in all Coptic words. We have, sorry, we have the word Kimi, Kimi, it is K, Ita, E, May, M, Yota, E. Kimi, meaning Egypt, Egypt. And then we have the word Ko, it's a K and Omega, Ko. <coughs> We shall, um, this is the pronunciation in English, <coughs> sorry, meaning to put, to put. We shall meet this when we say, uh, forgive our sins, co able, co able, to put aside, to put aside our sins, co able. Next, we have as an SH. As an sh sh in Greek words, in Greek words, when followed by the a a eta e iota e and the epsilon. A very uh, very frequent word we we come across is share. Shere. So it's the K, we pronounce it as a she. E, R, E. She, Re, meaning hail. We say Shere ne Maria. Shere ne Maria. So this is the word. The, the third pronunciation. Um, is like in a KH, and I've spoken of this about the uh, pronunciation, about the KH. Uh, we pronounce it as Achtung in German, if anyone knows a bit of German. And, and this was the Arabic Kha, the Arabic Kha. And this is for other, uh, for other Greek words. The pronunciation Kha, it goes for other Greek words. Here we have the word Christ. Christ. It is K is H. Ro, R, Yota, I, Sima, S, Tav, T, Omicron, O, Sima, S. So we say Christos. This is the Greek word Christos. And we have it hundreds of times in the liturgy and other uh, things concerning when we say Christos, Christos. Okay. We have the Janja, the Janja. The Janja has two, two pronunciations. One of them is J as in jungle. And the other one is a, a, a g as in gang. For the first case is when followed by an a, eta, or iota. I have given here three examples. Three examples where one is followed by an a. One is followed by an eta. One is followed by a yota. So the first example is the the the, the janja would be j j. So the word is j. And this is the pronunciation. And uh, we say it could be because it, it has lots of meaning. Lots of meanings we shall come to this in our coming sessions. But this is the pronunciation of J. Another 
Well, the second one is followed by an ita, which will be uh, janja, ita, i, kappa, k, jik, jik, being, meaning perfect or complete, complete. The third one, third one is janja, yota, i, and the janja here, the third one, the third G would, would be as a G because it is not followed by any of the three. It will come, it, it, it will be read as, as a G because no, none of these vowels are uttered. So this is the word, we'll read it as jig. Jig, meaning hand. And this we shall have in the Olgosa, in the Olgosa, okay, jig, head. So, the, the, on, or, as we said, in all other cases, uh, other than the one uh, aforesaid, it will be a ge, as in gang, so, we have the word gom, meaning power. Power, and this we have in the uh, Pascha week. Tok teti gom. Tok teti gom. So to be j, gamma, uh, g, omicron, m, gom. Okay. So I think we have finished with the consonants. We have finished with the consonants. And uh, Yes. We go to the uh, yes. uh, introduction of the. Uh... Yes, uh, uh, I just try to uh, to repeat what uh, Mr. Magdi advised us uh, when you said to to improve your uh, Coptic language, just ten minutes every day. But now, after we have this video, it will be more easier when you hear it. The video and you see the word and the in front of you and this is will be easier when we continuous with the Coptic language and please take this advice into consideration but it is now this advice is more easier when you have these videos okay response right so we shall go uh, now to the introduction and conclusion of the uh, exposition for the Pascha week. Okay. So, uh, in order to follow to follow up with me, the English translation of the respective clauses. Okay. Let, let us uh, let, let me first tell you about the this sheet on the right hand on the right hand I have the introduction on the left hand is the conclusion for the exposition I have um, made this as uh, the first, the first cell, the first cell or the top cell is what the uh, priest says. And you notice here we have the word uweeb with the P in front of it. P means the, this is the masculine. P u weeb, the priest. Then the second one, the second uh, cell, is the word la os, la os, and this means the people, people, with the p, this is for the masculine, so we say p la os, and so on. So, uh, sorry for the, the first one cell by the priest, the second cell by the people, the third cell is the uh, priest and so on. In the 
uh, in the introduction, in the introduction, we have what is said in the daytime and what is said on the eve of the next day. So the first, the first four cells or the first four uh, clauses are common, uh, are common for the day and for the eve of the next day. The next four cells you have, uh, you, you will see in front of you that there is a dashed line. This dashed line separates the top part being what is said on the daytime. The bottom, uh, after the dashes, it is what is being said uh, 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 in the eve of the next day. So, to follow up with me, to follow to follow up with me, I kindly ask you to, if you have the. Uh, uh, the Coptic reader on your cell phone is to go to open the Coptic reader and then go to special. After special, you go to Pascha. And then on the Pascha, we have days Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So let's choose Tuesday. It will be the same for most of the days. We have insights, Tuesday day, and when is the eve? Okay, so we are going to speak now about the introduction. So we shall go, we choose Tuesday day, choose any hour, choose any hour, the third hour, the sixth hour, we choose the third hour. And then we swap uh, to the left, and we go to number eight is exposition introduction. Why I'm saying this so that you can follow this, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Coptic with what you have uh, with the corresponding English translation. So the first one, the father will say, Hen F. Ran. This is the capital Chai. This is the capital Chai. And A and N is Hen. And then we have the Fe with the Jenkim. It will be read independently as an independent syllable. Hen F. Ran. Ran is a row. Alpha, Ne, meaning name. So in the name, so we look at the translation, it says in the English translation, it says in the name. Then we have N here. N is an independent syllable. This is a conjunction. This is a conjunctive letter, meaning of the or related to the name or the, the, the word before it. Then we have T etrias. T is read independently. This is to uh, indicate a feminine word. T etrias. Etrias is a feminine word. So, hen, f, ran, n, t, etrias. We have it here. Uh, in the, the corresponding translation is in the name of the Trinity. So, trias is three, tr, three, is, is uh, you can, uh, in, like in Latin uh, or in uh, French, you say trois, so this is trias, three. Okay, we shall, uh, we shall answer with the words here, I shall read it to you one by one. We have N, independent, and then Omo Omicron 
Omicron, main Omicron is Omo. Then the one in blue is Om Omicron and Epsilon is an U. Then the one in green is S, C, C, Sima, Sima, S, Yota, Omicron, Sima, S, Cios, Cios, N, Omo, U, Cios. This means one in essence, one in essence. Okay. We come to what the, uh, our father would say. F yot, F will be read independently because it has a jenkem on it, the fay. Then we have yot meaning father. It is a yo, a yota. Omega and Tav, T, Yot, meaning father, the father. So, Nem is Ne, A, Me, Nem, N, A, M. Nem means and. Nem is always and. Then we come to the uh, last uh, word here, we have the one in blue is the P with a jenkem. It will be read independently because it has a jenkem. So it will be read as ep. Now we come to the second, uh, the second part of the word is a shy, an eta, a ro, and the yota. It will be read as shiri. Shiri, meaning sun. Ep shiri, ep shiri. This will be the sun. So we have it. The translation, meaning the father and the sun. We shall answer. Shall continue as an answer. Nem and Nem and this long word here, if we shall read it together, the first part in blue is P, is the P and the Yota, and it will be P. This is for the uh, uh, definite article, masculine, definite article, meaning the for masculine. And then we have the second one is. Uh, we have an, uh, an independent P with, because it has a jenkem to be ep, ep. Then we have a ne, n, a, epsilon, me, m, alpha, a. This will read, we have here the epsilon will be a V as in vector. You can refer that back into the sheet we just had right now. So it, it will be ep, nev, ma. I said ep because ep alone is a, is a syllable by itself. Ep nev ma, and we, we shall read it together. P ep nev ma. You can hear they say pip nev ma, but it is p ep nev ma. Then we have this meaning the uh, spirit. The spirit. Ep nev ma is spirit. Then we have the word I have divided into F meaning the F A theta F and then the second word is O epsilon is U alpha is A B and theta at the end is a B so it's U wab U wab F U wab F U wab means Holy, the holy, the holy. So, nem pi ep nevma et uab means and the Holy Spirit. In Coptic, we have the word spirit, and then comes the adjective. The spirit, and then comes the adjective. Opposite to Arabic and 
storm. Now, we come to the morning. We come to the morning uh, uh, session. The father will say, P, we have a P and the Yorta is a P meaning the, and then we have O epsilon is U, omega is O, so we'll have U, O, I, Yota is I, the N is an N, Yota is a Y, is a e. here it is an E because that, that's how it should be read. P, U, Oi, Ni. Then we have the conjunction letter N, and then Ta, Ta, and then F is a syllable by itself. And the last three letters, Meg, Ita, Yota, we read it as me. So M, Ita, Yota here is me, me. Okay. Me meaning true. F me. F is the uh, definite article. So we say P U O I N N T A F me, and this has been translated. Says O true light. O true light. Uh, we can say it as being the true light or O true light. Now, the father will come and say, uh, will be saying, sorry, will be saying, uh, we have the first part in blue is a fe, eta, a, 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 and the tav. We will read it as fi et, fi et. The first two letters are fi, then the second part is fi et. And we have the part in green is a, rho, er, and then we have the word that we have before, u oini, u oini. We have the here, er u oini, er u oini, meaning enlighten. Fiat, fiat, meaning who, who. Fiat, er u oini. And the translation is who enlightens. The father will then come and say here, we have an independent syllable, A, A, A is independent. Then we have a Rho, Rho, Omega, Me, I, Yota, Rho, Mi, Rho, Mi, being, meaning uh, person or man, man okay then the, the second uh, word is nay yota epsilon a nay so it will be me here we have the epsilon will be read as v in vector will be ni ven ni ven ni ven meaning every ni ven we have here, so the word will say, eromi mi ven. As, we, uh, as I have just told you before, the adjective comes after the word. So the word is romi. A is a conjunction. A is a conjunction. The word then is romi. But we have eromi mi ven as translated is every man, every man. Now, the last part we answer with is 
the first part is a theta is f as above here for f u1 f then we have an a eta o epsilon o epsilon will be an u so ne with an eta is ni u ni u ni u the word we read will be f ni u f ni u means coming or who is coming because we are, it's referring to the uh, uh, the first the previous uh, clause eromi even who is coming f ni u a is the conjunction then p is the definite article and then we have the word cosmos okay kappa o s m omicron s cosmos cosmos meaning the world world okay so f ni u a p cosmos now let's come to the let's go to the uh, uh, evening Let's go to the part of the evening. All right, let's let me check and see the uh, uh, on the uh, Coptic reader. We go to the eve. Sorry, we have we go to the eve then. Check and see again, please. Okay. So, <clears throat> for the for the Eve, we have the word we have just so, uh, seen before is share share then we have ne ne n a n a share ne meaning to to then we have the word m ma m al alpha a r yota i alpha maria share ne maria Cherene Maria. Hail to you, Mary. Then we have or our answer will be T, which is the definite article for a feminine word. And then we have a word here reading as ch, as in church, chi, chima as in uh, we say ch as in church, then ro, r, ro, omicron o, may m, p as a p, yota as an e, chrom p, chrom p. You can hear it, they say, they, you can hear them saying et chrom p, but the correct uh, pronunciation is chrom p, chrom p. So it is meaning the dove meaning dove so t chrompi t chrompi then we have f meaning the or which is the then the word coming is ne source ne source ne a s sima s omicron uh, omega sorry and sima s so it is ne source ne source means fair 
means fair. You can, uh, as referred to, into, uh, as referred to in the uh, Coptic reader uh, translation. So it is T Shurom P F Ne Source. The father will say Fiat, like the one, the, 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 the part we have seen before here. It is here we say because it is feminine. We, uh, we, we start with the theta. Above, uh, over here, it is masculine. We start with the fe, fe here. So we say fiat, fiat. Then, as nisi, alpha, a, s, me, 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 iota, i, sima, s, iota, i. Fiat, as, ni, si, okay, meaning, Sorry again. Oh. Who has born? Who has born? Then we have nay, alpha, nay, that is nan, nan. If, uh, so we also hear it uh, meaning us, as we, we hear it also as saying nay, nan, have mercy on us or upon us, nai nan, meaning us. Okay. And the last clause, let me, so, she has born, she has born, the God, the Logos, God, the Logos. So, God is nuti, nuti, nei, o, epsilon is u, and the T here will always be read as a T, not as a T. So, Nuti is God. F Nuti, we have the definite article. And M is the conjunction, the conjunctive uh, uh, letter. M, F, Nuti. M, F, Nuti. Then, we have the word logos, it's a Greek word, meaning the word or the, that thing. So it is la, lavla, is a la, omicron is an o, gamma, as we said, is a re, re, omicron, o, sima, s, logos. And we have p before it, meaning the definite article, which is a definite article. So, M, F, Nuti, M, F, Nuti, P, Logos, meaning God, the Logos. Okay. We shall come uh, then to the uh, conclusion. Sorry. Our father will say, P. Christos. We have had the word Christos before. And P is a definite article. P. Christos. Then we have the second word is, and the thing, the, the part in blue is a P, an A, and then N. Pen, meaning our hour and the second part of the word is sima s omega uh, omega o taf t i t i ro r so tir so tir meaning savior and pen before it is means hour pen so Tear, our savior. In Coptic, we have the possessive, possessive uh, pronoun, 
is uh, written together with the noun itself. In English uh, or in other uh, languages, we they are separate. We say our and savior. In Coptic, our, it, it is one word, pen, so, tear. Okay. Then. We, uh, we reply saying, the first word is alpha, fe is af, af. I have put here the green on the yota because it has a jinkum. It will be read independently. So we say af, e, e meaning is the verb to come, af, e. So he has come. He has come because we are speaking about the Christ has come. So this uh, means he referring to uh, the, the, the Jesus Christ before. So af e. Then we have af. That means he has also af as he has. Then the word meaning born suffering is ship shay shy a is ship and then may with the syllable on is m independent to be read independently and then kappa ka alpha a and hori ha m ka m ka so the word is ship, M, car, and this is the past tense. So, af, ship, M, car, means he has borne suffering. Okay. Then, our father will say. The first word is h, hori, h, yota, i, ne, n, alpha, a, hi, na, hi, na. Then we have the word, next word is chai, a, ne, chen, chen meaning with or uh, yes with with or it has different meanings but here we should consider it as with then we have the word coming is nef nay a pi is nef then we have m to be read separately and then we have the word kav which is a k alpha v uh, uh, epsilon and hori so it will be ka kav here the epsilon will be read as a vector as v in vector and hori is a m kav m kav and this is the plural for ka ka means suffering, kav means sufferings. It is the plural. Nef is the possessive pronoun. And as I said, it is always, it comes stuck with the word, with the word itself. We, so we say, hina, hen, nef, em, kav. So that, he may, uh, sorry, he, he, here they said that, that through his passion, I don't know the translation, uh, but, uh, but it's also that through his sufferings, I, maybe they have another word or meaning for a uh, synonym for it. So, he now, Hen, 
nef m kav we answer we say n tef nay with an epsilon on a uh, jenkim on sorry is an in the in, uh, independent syllable and then we have tav t a l phi f n tef n tef then we have the word the, uh, the word soti sima omicron t so t soti is save this is the verb to save and tef soti so that he would save and then we have the word the last word is m Mon, the first may, the first M is read independently because it has a jenkem over it. And then we have a may, Omicron, may is mon. M mon, M mon. This is meaning us, meaning that he would save us. Okay. So that he would save us. And Tef Soti M Mon. Then the father will say, Maren M Alpha R E N Maren, meaning let us, let us. Then we have. The second word that we have first as a T, T. This is a verb here, and a T is not the uh, definite article, it has another meaning. It means T to give. We shall come to the explanation later on, but the point is uh, not to mix it with the uh, T that is used for a definite article feminine. Then we have. This uh, the part in green is omega with they have put here uh, Jenkins. Okay, that's the normal, and then O epsilon. So we will read O U O U, and then the third part of the word is nay alpha pi will be naf T O U naf. That means we glorify. So let us glorify. T O U N A F T O U N A F T O U N A F. Okay. That means let us glorify him. Okay. Then we reply saying ten, then ten is a tab A and then A is ten. Then we have Chi C Ch Chima Ch as in church. Yota is an E, Sima is an S, Yota is an E. Chi C ten Chi C. This is the verb is to Exalt, exalt, and we, ten is we, ten is we, we exalt. What shall we exalt? His name, his name. We have M, this is the conjunction to uh, related to the, what is to be uh, uh, glory, uh, exalted. So it is M, then his name, his name is Kran, his name, and Pef is his, this is the possessive pronoun. So Pef is a P, A, Phi, Pef. Then we have R, Alpha, Nay, Ran, M, Pef, Ran. His name, his is Pef, Ran is name. Okay, now the father would say J. We have taken this word before J because 
because or for, because or for. Then we have this coming word is af, alpha phi is af. Then a rho, air, af air. Then we have the word uh, mercy is u nai o epsilon is u then we have then na n alpha yota nai and nai i have put when i first spoke about how to pronounce the alpha if you remember so j af er u nai af er u nai so he has uh, done mercy. He has done mercy. Then with whom has he done mercy? He has done mercy with us. With us is ne man, ne ne, a e, me m, alpha a, ne n, ne man. We don't say ne man, ne man. No. Notice maybe some people say it, Nima, no. In Coptic, A is always an A. J, Af, Er, Ne, Man. Here, only, I'm repeating this to uh, stress on the point of how to pronounce the A. J, Af, Er, Unai, Ne, Man. The last clause, we are uh, 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 answering the father. We say, according to his great mercy, according to his great mercy, then we have kappa, alpha, tav, t, alpha, a, kata, kata is according, kata. Then we have the coming word, first part of it is. P, A, P, P, A, E, Phi, Phi, F, P, F, P, F, we have had, we've had it here before, P, F, meaning his, meaning his, P, F, then we have the word Nishti, Nishti, Ne, Yota, Shai, and T. Remember, T will be read as a T. So, Nishti means great. F Nishti means is great. Then we have the last word. We have N to be read separately because it has a Jenkum on the top. Then because, uh, N here is a conjunction between the previous word and the, the word it is connected to it or related to here. Nai, Nai, and we had the word Nai before, meaning uh, mercy. Kata, Pef, Nishti, and Nai. Well, I hope I have uh, 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 tried to uh, give the best I have and wish you all the uh, the luck and uh, have a holy week, have a holy Pascha week. Yeah, yeah I, I think this is a good revision to the all the what we did before. Doesn't matter if we if you use it this only from this week, but we can make this record or this video to go with Mr. Magdi from each word he pronounced and each letter, because is 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 I consider this a revision for all what we did before, and it is good revision to follow what he said from each each word and each letter. Thank you, Mr. Magdi. This is a, a great job. Not at all. Not at all. I hope I have. No, this is more helpful. Thank you, everyone.